Warning, this video contains footage of the mock-up synthesizer depicting a satire image of Peter Kern. If such depictions are objectable or sensitive to your nature, please abstain from viewing this video. Hey there, Synth Drones. Today we're going to be talking about Behringer Apologizes. Hi, I'm Pure Ambient Drone. This is my channel where I vlog about synthesizers. Hit the subscribe button, tap the bell, keep up with all of my synth adventures. You're going to love it here. PureAmbientDrone.com is the place to be if you want to connect with me. PureAmbientDrone.com. Behringer Apologizes. Check it out. Behringer on March 2nd released a video depicting a fake synthesizer that had cork, uh, wine corks as synthesizer knobs. And then a depiction of a character with a long nose, I'm believing it's supposed to be Peter Kern, sniffing the wine corks. Um, Peter Kern is a person who brought up a lawsuit that Behringer was involved in, or at least attempted, against DSI and some people posting on the internet their opinions and uh, their thought process about Behringer's company, about the Behringer uh, company, I should say. And Behringer obviously didn't like what these people had to say, so they brought up a lawsuit. Now, I don't want to get into the full details of this lawsuit or who's wrong and who's right, uh, but uh, some feel that the apology does not go far enough. So let me read the apology to you from Behringer, and uh, you can make up your own mind and leave some comments below this video. So, so let's read that right now. Please allow me to respond to the video we had published today. For the past 20 years, Peter Kern and Behringer have had an interesting relationship, to say the least. What was meant as pure satire by our marketing department has clearly offended some people, and looking at the video, I could understand why. However, in no way did the team ever intend to make any connection to Semitism as some people have alleged. We unreservedly apologize to Peter and anyone who felt offended. So there you have it. There is an apology from Yuli, and some people are making the connection in this apology that maybe perhaps Yuli is actually blaming his marketing team rather than taking responsibility himself. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think that this is okay? Do you think that this is blown out of proportion? Are you offended? If you leave a comment on this video, please keep it civil. I don't mind freedom of speech, but we have to be sensitive to those who may be reading the comments on this video and some things that are said can be very, very offensive to some others. So please keep it respectful, kind, professional, and intelligible. Until next time, I am Pure Ambient Drone. Keep calm and synth on.